hello welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to configure tags and triggers based on cookie consent if we have server-side tagging setup first let me explain briefly how server-side tagging works i will try to explain the point with the help of few images we can see in this image let's say this is our website and we have set up gtm web container on our website and we have also created a ga4 tag on our web container and we have also created a gtm server container in the case of server side tagging with google tag manager we are to pass data with j4 tags to gtm server container and a j4 client receive this data on gtm server container then we can set up tags of different platforms on gtm server container that send the data to all those platforms so in short the point is we have a website then created Google Tag Manager web container and then created J4 tags that's sending data to Google Tag Manager server container and a J4 client receiving the data. Then set up different tags and triggers that are sending data to all those platforms like Google Ads, Google Analytics or Facebook Ads etc. Now let's say a user lands on our website and gets this cookie banner where statistics means analytics storage cookie and marketing means add storage cookie then he allows all this cookie consent then this stream of data processing will continue smoothly in another situation if he denies all the cookie consent or allows add storage cookie consent but denies analytics storage cookie consent in this situation in the case of basic consent mode j4 tags will stop firing and sending data to gtm server container so consequently server tags can send data to other platforms either so in the google tag manager web container we need to set up j4 google tags in such a way that the tags fire even if there is no cookie consent and we can do that in only one way and that's advanced consent mode because we know in the basic consent mode if there is a consent the tags don't fire but in advanced consent mode the tags fire even if there is no consent so let's set up advanced consent mode for g4 tags let's say this is the website and this is the google tag manager web container connected with the website and this is the google tag manager server container in the web container i have some tags for facebook pixel and some tags for j4 that's configured for server side tagging also like you can see here this is the server container url in the gtm server container i have created two tags one is for facebook conversion api and the second is google analytics 4 now let's implement advanced consent mode for j4 tags on web container so i will go to consent overview then select all of the j4 tags then go to edit consent settings and then i will choose from here no additional consent required then save here you go our advanced consent mode setup is complete now let's check if the data is going to server container even if there is no cookie consent so i will go to preview from the both of web container and server container so click on preview and from gtm server container go to preview also now i will enter here my website url and click on connect for this website maybe i have granted cookie consent before so i would like to clear that cookie so that we can visit the website as a new user now reload the page here you go now tag assistant connected and this is the cookie consent you can see i haven't allowed or denied any cookie consent here if i go to tag assistant tab and click on continue we can see our g4 tag has been fired and if i go to server container preview mode then we can see the data is coming here also but the major problem is here if you remember i haven't granted any cookie consent for marketing that means for add storage nevertheless the conversion api tag which is for facebook is firing on server container but not firing on web container so we have to configure server side tags and triggers based on cookie consent 
so let's start the configuration before configuration let's know about a parameter related to cookie consent which we are getting on preview mode of server container like if i select here page view then go to event data and then if i click here see more then we can say here a parameter x g a g c s which is related to cookie consent and its value is g100 this value may be different according to the user's cookie consent like it's g100 it may be g111 or g101 or g110 etc so let's see what these values mean here g1 is by default and the next number indicates add storage cookie consent and the next number indicates analytics storage cookie consent so number one is for allowed cookie consent and zero is for denied cookie consent so g111 means all cookie consent are allowed and g100 means all cookie consent are denied and g110 means add storage allowed but analytics storage denied and g101 means add storage denied but analytics storage allowed I will create a variable using this parameter so I will copy it then go to GTM server container then variables then from user defined variables take a new variable then variable configuration and choose from here event data then paste here that parameter and I will entitle the variable according to the parameter then say now i will add this variable to the triggers as a filter so go to trigger section then i will open the trigger of j4 tag then click anywhere then plus icon then i will choose from here the parameter matches regular expression g1.1 let me explain the meaning of this value we know g1 is by default this dot is a regular expression for anything that means its value may be 1 or 0 and this 1 means analytics storage is allowed so this value means regardless of the add storage cookie consent when analytics storage is allowed this trigger will execute so I will save it now then I will open the trigger of Facebook tag then click anywhere then plus icon I will insert on this table this parameter matches regular expression g11 dot this value means regardless of the analytics storage cookie consent when add storage cookie consent is allowed this trigger will execute so i will save it now okay our configuration is almost done now i would like to go to preview again to see how server side tags behave based on this configuration so i will close previous preview then I'm going to preview from server container and then from web container also then connect here you go tag assistant connected if I open my cookie settings then change your consent we can see here I have granted cookie consent for both of statistics and marketings so if I go to tag assistant tab and click on continue then we can see g4 tag has been fired and if I go to preview mode of server container then we can see g4 tag is fired and Facebook conversion API tag is also fired now if I change my cookie consent here like I'm denying cookie consent for statistics that means for analytics and then allow selection then reload the page then go back to the server container preview and select the last page view then we can see our Facebook conversion API tag has been fired but G4 tag hasn't because there is no consent for analytics now if I change again the cookie consent then change your consent now I am allowing cookie consent for analytics and denying for marketing then allow selection then reload the page then go back to the preview mode of server container and select from here last page then we can see our GA4 tag has been fired but Facebook conversion API tag hasn't 
because I didn't grant cookie consent for add storage. Now if I allow all cookie consent, then reload the page, then go back to preview mode of server container, then select last page view, then we can see the both of J4 tag and Facebook conversion API tag has been fired because I have allowed cookie consent for both of analytics and add storage. So that was the implementation method of consent mode with server side tag manager. This is one of Google documentation for consent mode with server side tag manager. I will give the link in the description. You should read this document to learn more. So at the last step, I will publish the containers so that the update works in the real cases. So click on submit. I will give the version a name. I will name it consent mode setup for server side tagging. Then publish. Then publish the web container also. That's it in this video. If you have any question, feel free to write down in the comment box. I will reply that as much as possible. And I am a top rated professional freelancer working on Fiverr and also working on Upwork with 100% job success. You can read my clients feedback of their satisfaction in these accounts. If you need my services, you can place an order on these marketplaces. Otherwise, you can contact me on this WhatsApp number or on this Gmail address like you can see also below the video. So that's it today. If you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button below the video and consider subscribing to my channel. See you in another video. Until then, goodbye. Thank you so much.